In the unincorporated Southwest community of Westmont, you'll find a widespreading campus that just under a century ago was home to a one-of-a-kind aviation program for high school students. Hey guys, it's been a while, but welcome back to another episode of the South LA Recap. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to learn more about South LA on the regular. Today we're going to take a look at the brief history of George Washington Preparatory High School, and we'll also see how this school actually jump-started a lot of development in Southwest Los Angeles. In February of 1927, Los Angeles City School District announced plans to build a new high school to keep up with its rapidly expanding student population. In this round of new schools, the school district planned George Washington High School near the southwest corner of Normandy Avenue and 108th Street. In the spring of 1928, Los Angeles City School District opened George Washington High School, a $1 million campus, as actually a junior high school, serving grades 7 through 12. And within one year, the school had over 2,000 students. Here's a fun fact for you guys, even though it doesn't seem like a big accomplishment now, and especially with COVID, but George Washington Junior High School was actually the first school in the LA City School District to host a graduation outdoors. It had never been done before until 1929. George Washington Junior High opened with a strong academic offering. Located near LA's once open flying field, Washington offered a grounded aviation course. Then Superintendent Susan M. Dorsey wasn't a fan of teaching flight at the school and limited the first flight program in the school district to George Washington High School, making it the first school in California to offer an at-school aviation study program. To participate, students had to be at least 16 years of age, physically fit, and have participated in motor, electricity, and physics courses. The school district even secured discarded motors and planes from the government and funded the cost for the equipment for the class. Things were actually going quite well for this aviation program. I mean, except in one instance where an instructor almost lost an eye, but I guess you can say the school and the school district turned a blind eye to it. Yeah, that, that, was, that was actually pretty bad. The aviation program at Washington proved to be the school's most popular offering, attracting droves of interested transfer students as early as 1931. In fact, that school year, the principal at Washington anticipated a 10% growth in student body and began sourcing funds to expand the physical footprint of the campus. As the aviation program progressed, students studied plane construction, engines, and aeronautical navigation, and even gained access to an old U.S. military biplane, which likely were used in World War I. In 1939, the city of Los Angeles opened Southwest College, a new community college for Southwest Los Angeles, right on the Washington campus. On George Washington Prep's campus, Southwest College had a positive reception. I mean, they were offering courses in commercial art, vocational math, mechanical drawing, but none of those courses could compete with the demand of the aeronautical courses. In fact, it's really neat that Southwest College still exists today, and it's only about a couple of blocks south of George Washington Prep, right there on Imperial Highway. George Washington High School enjoyed a high enrollment for decades after its aviation boom. In fact, in 1960, the school had to implement two separate lunch periods to keep up with the growing population. And in that same year, the school had a senior class of 683 students. Looking back at the archives, George Washington High School was an overwhelmingly white school, and it wasn't until about the 60s the school started to see a shift in demographics, where a couple of black students would pop up in a few photos. But by 1978, the school, as reported by the LA Times, was in a neighborhood that was predominantly black and poor which was very interesting to see that stark difference from the start of the school in the early 30s. 
In the 1980s, George McKenna took the helm of leadership at Washington, challenging its reputation as a low-performing inner-city school. Under McKenna's leadership, the school invested more into academic programs, including the development of the performing arts, math and science, and communication art magnets. He also invested into the school's college preparation, effectively renaming George Washington High School George Washington Preparatory High School. By the mid-1980s, under the leadership of McKenna, George Washington Preparatory High School was sending roughly 80% of its students to college or vocational programs. McKenna's story is effectively documented in the TV biographical film, Heart Lesson, which features Denzel Washington. Today, George Washington Preparatory High School continues to stand as an essential institution that has firmly shaped South Los Angeles into the region it is today. The school has condensed its magnet offerings into a sole science, technology, engineering, art, and mathematic magnet. It also shares a campus with LAUSD's Duke Ellington High School. As of 2019, George Washington Preparatory High School has 814 students. The once majority black school now has a population that is 54% Latino and 44% black. According to the California Department of Education, 42% of students at George Washington Preparatory High School graduate with a plan to pursue college or a vocation. Notable alumni include LA County District Attorney Gil Garcetti, who is also the father of Eric Garcetti, the former mayor of Los Angeles, actor rapper Ice Cube, and former American football player and coach James Lofton. That's all I have for this episode of the South LA Recap. And just like all of these brief histories, I can't cover everything. So if you have something that you'd like to add about your experience at George Washington High School, leave it down in the comment section below and I'll catch you guys around on the recap.